Hey, Spoolie, Evan here. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, but Morgan and I have always disagreed on if it's a good idea. I always thought shooting one of these in the car, I promise I'm uh, following the laws of the road. I'm actually parked here talking to you, so I'm not actually driving, but I think the acoustics will be good and everything. So here's your Tuesday devotional. This is something that's kind of been on my mind. It's not so much a devotional, but it's something that like, I wanna talk about to everyone who watches these and then I want you guys to talk about it with those around you. So it kind of came up at youth group the other night. We weren't even planning on it, but it was just naturally through our youth lesson and everything. And that really was, why do we do this? And of like, why, why do you do Christianity? So my thing that I really want you guys to take home is, why are you a Christian, right? And I'm not looking for the answer of like, I'm a Christian because I'm saved, like that's awesome, That's I love that that's what you believe, but it's more of like a, well, why, why did you choose to be saved? Why do you go to church, those kinds of things? Because it came up organically when we were talking with the youth group, we were talking about a passage in 1 Peter where Peter talks about us being the church, and so we were like, well, why do we go to church? And everyone kind of sat there for a second, and then, then we kind of drummed up some answers, but it was still kind of this like, well, why do we do all of this? Why do we do this Christian thing, this Christianity? And a lot of kids, it was great. They were honest. They said, you know, well, I was born into it, right? So that's why, and that's an A answer, but like, let's unpack that more, right? So I think for me, if I've been reflecting on it, like, why do I do this is, you know, there, there has to be more. When I look at the world around, I think if you didn't, believe in God, if you didn't have a higher power, you didn't have Christianity, it would be so null and void. There'd be nothing. So, right. So I feel like God gives, gives purpose, gives meaning, gives a way to interpret. Right. So that's why, you know, I follow his directions and those kinds of things. So yeah, does that make, so I want you to sit with your family, whether it's a dinner or wherever you watch these and take these to, to your people and say, guys, why do we do this? Right. Have a good conversation with your family and I hope that might encourage you that like to hop on um, and worship with whichever church you're watching this from or you're a part of you know because COVID we've all gotten estranged from our churches so let's talk why do we do this let's let's come back to our churches so um, yeah sorry this was almost maybe a little bit of a ramble instead of like a hey here's a direct passage here's something to think about it but I think it's a really good thing to reflect on is like why in the world are we doing this? Why do I do this? Why do I say I'm a Christian? Why do I do Christianity? Why do I choose to participate with Christianity, right? And um, I think the more you probe there, the more you dig there, I think you're gonna learn a little bit about yourself. I think your family, you guys will learn about each other and your priorities. So um, yeah, I really encourage it. And like I said, I promise you, I am parked this whole time. So hands off the wheel, we're doing fine. All right, have a good rest of your week.